Hey, Pleasant, good morning to you, everyone. My name is Curtis Brooks, and I am with Curtis Brooks Media Productions. And today, I wanted to just come online and talk more about the numbers uh, as, as it relates to live streaming. And the title of this uh, broadcast or discussion is going to be, Is Your Business a Purple Cow? And this is from the book, Purple Cow by Seth Godin, and it is an absolutely great book. Actually, I was just listening to the uh, audio book earlier and in preparation for my show here or my discussion on today. So we're going to just dive into the numbers uh, as it relates to uh, live streaming and why your business should be live streaming. And as a marketer, as a digital marketer, uh, I have uh, spoken with several businesses and uh, the challenges is that a lot of times that the businesses don't understand and and that we've seen so often for people who are live streaming or using video a lot of times it's okay with we, we see people streaming what they've eaten we see people streaming all these different events and situations and it may not necessarily be a thing that we would do for business but rest assured live video is absolutely on the rise here and again I just want to dive into this so if your brand if your business your organization is not using video live streaming or live video as it's also called uh, there's an issue uh, it's something that you need to think about not for the sake for because I'm a digital marketer but for the sake of the evidence that is presented before you, which I have on my screen here, the website, uh, hopefully you can see the website here. It is uh, mediakicks.com slash Facebook video. And again, you should be able to see the information in the, the uh, URL. But again, we're talking about, is your business a purple cow from the book, Purple Cow by Seth Godin, absolutely wonderful book. Um, it's an older book, it's been around for a little bit, but nevertheless, uh, some great information that he talked about. Again, making your business remarkable. And customarily, we have been, uh, marketers have been you know, doing the same old thing, and there's a key components or principles that they continue to recycle and over and over, but again, when we consider video, when we consider live streaming, the numbers don't lie. And I've got several articles here, or URLs that I have lined up uh, here for you on today to talk about the numbers, talk about your ROI, talk about why you should be live streaming, not for the sake of just, I'm trying to uh, pine for your business, but also for the sake of that, you need to reach your customer. It's about engagement. It has always been about engagement. A lot of businesses, again, as I mentioned earlier, are talking about, well, how do I get my money back out of this, Curtis? But if you don't get out there, you're never going to get any money back. You're ne not ever going to see that return. So let's get started here. This article, again, website is mediakicks.com. You can check it out there. And I purposely highlighted made sure I highlighted the URL so that you see that there's definitely evidence and you can go check out that information yourself. Uh, so this article here, um, or a blog, I guess, talks about the Facebook, the 11 biggest Facebook video uh, statistics that marketers need to know for 2017, again, related to Facebook. It says that digital video is booming globally. Traffic from online videos will consume over 80% of all consuming internet traffic by 2020. And this is Cisco reporting this. And e an e-marketer estimates that US spending on both mobile and desktop video advertising will reach nearly $10 billion in 2016, more than 23% increased in from last year. And by 2019, the total US digital video advertising spend is projected to eclipse $14 billion. My question to you as a small business, even as a church, uh, I've met with several churches and there's a, there's a misconnect with uh, the importance of marketing, even with churches. And that's uh, almost uh, 
unbelievable, but uh, nevertheless, that is the case that we're dealing with uh, often. And again, not just with churches, but it is a huge, uh, again, gap in understanding or the importance of why you and I should be as businesses, organizations, churches should be using live stream, again, the importance of it. And again, 11 reasons or 11 biggest Facebook video stats marketers need to know for 2017 as it relates to Facebook numbers. And it says Facebook video posts have increased 94% annually here in just the US. That's just it here in the US. Facebook posts have increased 94% uh, I just read that one there. Number two, total potential Facebook video viewing audience, 1.71 1. billion monthly active users. My question now is to you, where do you stand in that? Not necessarily just as an active user, but that those active users are going to be viewing your post. You're going to be viewing your, your ad campaign. They're going to be viewing your live stream, your video anything that your business is putting out there it's going to be important for you as a business to make sure that you are standing out and i think i subtitled this uh, or in the description i put brand stand out with live video this ultimately is about standing out guys that's what this is about it's about standing out making sure that you're standing out and what i do as a digital marketer I do live streaming. I create videos for businesses and uh, professionals, pro uh, promotional videos and videos to make the individual or uh, that professional or organization look great on camera. Whether you're doing a promotional video, whether you're highlighting a service or product, that's what I do at Curtis Brooks or with Curtis Brooks Media Productions. So getting back to our information here again, guys, this has to really soak in. It really is. It's not about me pining for your business. It's about the evidence that's being presented for before you, that the numbers are not lying here. Because again, I have several, several actually articles here. I want to kind of just touch bases on won't probably won't be able to get to them all for the sake of time here, but several articles to back up why your business why your organization should be live streaming. Several articles here. Again, I've chosen Facebook, I've chosen YouTube, Periscope, and also Instagram. And again, number four, 85% uh, of Facebook videos are viewed without sound. So that means, guess what? You and I as business owners, uh, organizations, you have an opportunity to put captioning in your videos and so even if people aren't watching the video they're looking at the activity they're looking at the motion they're looking at the what's happening it's a visual thing people are visual and i i think we are we're, we're sort of understanding that but again we haven't created a budget for that we haven't created a budget for a return so again the question a lot of times is curtis what's my roi look like on this and it's hard to answer that question when you haven't started something. It's hard to answer that question when we are trying to compare ourselves with others and that say that, well, these, this business or this brand is, has a 20% return since the, their inception of using live stream or video. Does that mean that your return is going to be that much or even close? Absolutely not. It, 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 you know, it's hard to compare those two. But if you get started with using live stream and video, you can begin to see how video can work for your organization. You, be, you can begin to measure it if you get started. But if you don't get started and you're sitting on the sideline trying to figure out is live streaming or video going to work for my business. And as Seth Golden, Seth Golden mentioned in his book here, as I was mentioned earlier, I was look, listening to the, his audio book is that if you're buying McDonald's, if you're buying that brand of cereal or some kind of, you know, be it frosted flakes or uh, corn flakes, whatever the case may be, 
it goes to show you that the advertising is still working. And there are most cases where it's that there are certain brands that we, we won't shy away to buy a, a generic brand because that brand who's been advertising for years or has spent the money to advertise, spent the money to stay in front of the consumer's face by creating commercials uh, or live streams, videos to, again, make sure that they're staying relevant. That's what this is about. It's about staying in front of your customer, but at the same time, ensuring that you're relevant to the changes of society or just as a whole society, but to the individual needs to your customer. So it's about, again, staying relevant. And if you're buying Thai detergent, if you're still buying cornflakes, it shows you that the advertising, advertisement, the campaigning that they've been doing has working or is working. And more than likely, if you've been buying cornflakes, frosted flakes, or going to McDonald's or going to, you know, if you haven't traveled far off the beaten path uh, in regards to what's being presented before you, and matter of fact, extending or extending to the point where your children are buying it, those same products that you've purchased, it means that the advertisement is working. And now how can this advertisement work for you? Well, that's what we're talking about. Brands stand out with live video. Brands stand out with taking that, taking that stand, if you will, to say, you know what, I'm going to step out here. I'm going to be a part of this because it's not just about me again or any other marketer pining for your business. It's about the evidence that is being presented before you. Number five, Facebook is paying 50 plus million dollars to influencers, publishers, celebrities for video and, and, and live views. So for instance, in this example here, you're looking at a picture here of Rock here. Uh, I can't remember his real name here, but uh, you're looking at a picture of Rock here and he is a paid influencer, I'm sure. Uh, and right below it, you're looking at a picture of Michael Phelps, Michael Phelps, uh, Olympic swimmer, uh, swimmer, uh, gold, uh, gold medalist, uh, 20 times over. But nevertheless, my point is, is that this here video here, or at least this video, uh, I'm not going to play the video, but I'll just read it. It says this video to date has received 4 million views to date. That's 4 million views. So whether he was paid or not, my point is that this video has received 4 million views. And this goes to show you the power of video. And you may not be a celebrity, and that's okay. The point here is that there is room for all of us. There is absolutely room for all of us. But we have to get out there. We have to get out there. Number six, 84% of Facebook ad revenue is from mobile is from mobile uh, from their mobile phones or uh, tablets or your cell phones again those ads are being placed right from there or right within the mobile devices there so your advertisement has an opportunity to be seen by again millions upon billions of people guys we we, we cannot mistaken or lessen the power of advertising and not so much and I'm not even just I'm not just talking about paid advertisement but the power of video and the wonderful thing with video is that once you've created a video you can tag that video with keywords and when you tag those key, those videos those those live streams with keywords you're extending your reach that much more okay Number seven, Facebook videos have increased 360% across everyone's news feed. So your videos are, are out there. People are looking at your videos. And we're trying to, a lot of times, we're trying to measure the videos within our, 
within our, uh, our, our known territory, if you will. We're trying, to, we're trying to measure those videos in the sense that if we have our, an example, if we have a, a, a client base of 360 clients, if you will, and we're trying to measure those videos within that client base, ignoring for the fact that that video goes viral, that you use the right keywords or the proper keywords through the analytics, you can, again, measure that video or measure that live stream in regards to the people that it's reaching or the potential that it can reach by using the right keywords, using those analytics, those analytics, they're available for us. As, and there, there are tools out there. That's my point. There are tools that we can use to, again, to further our reach, to find out or to discover how our live stream, how those videos are working. And much to what Seth Godin has discussed in his book, or at least the title, or even the title of the book is called The Purple Cow. The Purple Cow. And is your business a purple cow? Making your business stand out. That's what it's about. It's about so many different things. And like Seth mentioned, there's no guarantees with marketing. There's no one thing that you can do and it's going to work 100% of the time because people change, times change, and people change. People's needs and desires are forever changing. And we understand that that's a fact of life. But what we do know is that because those things are changing, those facts are in front of us, and that everything will change and, and everything has, has changed, because we have that information, we can now build upon it and make the necessary changes that we need to make as far as we creating, creating these live streams, creating videos that are engaging the people. Again, popular question is that, Curtis, where is my ROI? How do I get my ROI, my ROI out of this here? You first have to start. You first have to get started. You first have to engage with your customer. You first have to, again, advertise out there. Guys, hey, you know, thanks for tuning in, guys. We are starting a Facebook live stream or we're doing videos, whatever the case may be. Let your customer, let your client know that you are out there, guys. Let them know. Again, the same, actually, it's very interesting because me and a friend of mine were talking yesterday and we're talking about advertising. How many of us get mailers, uh, those postcards and brochures? And those things almost almost defunct now. I don't even see those things anymore. And the reason why we don't see them anymore because people are not reading them. They're throwing them away. They're watching videos, guys. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie, guys. Again, this is not just... This is not me just pining for your business, but just trying to educate you uh, as a consumer, as a marketer, just again, as a professional, from an from a entrepreneur to another entrepreneur, educate small businesses. The numbers don't lie, guys. If we do our research and, you know, Ask those questions. Those questions are important. Number nine, se uh, number nine is 74% of uh, total ad recall is achieved in 10 seconds of Facebook video ad campaigns, guys. How powerful is that? How par powerful is that? Okay, let's go on to this next one here. I think I've even YouTube stats for you. And this YouTube here is kind of laid out a little different here, actually a lot easier here. Uh, it says the very first YouTube video was uploaded April 23, April 23rd, 2005. All right. The total number of people who use YouTube is, is wow, wow. That's 1 billion. Yeah, that's 1, 1. 1.3 billion. Wow. That's huge, guys. That means that there is potential. Again, we again using the tools that even YouTube provides. Uh, 
out there to measure your ROI, measure how effective your, your ad or your video campaign is for your product or your service that you are uh, creating. 300 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Almost 5 billion videos are watched on YouTube every single day. Guys, the numbers don't lie here. The numbers don't lie here. And it's time for us as small businesses, it's time for us as organizations, profit or nonprofit organizations, to, an even, to include churches. It's time for us to go where our customer is going. Find out what our customer or our client, find out where they're at. They're watching videos, guys. They're not reading those brochures, those mailers anymore. They're not. They're watching videos, guys. They're watching, uh, watching and waiting for your, for your next video, your next live stream. They want to know who you are. They want a connection with, with who you are, your brand. And your brand, and that's a whole nother thing there. Because many times people are thinking my brand is my business and really the two are separate, closely related in, to some regard, but separate though. So again, guys, the numbers don't lie. I again purposely put the information up here, up front, up top here, so that you can see the website purposely and know that or know where I've gotten the information from. Let's see, let's look at another fact here. Again, we're looking at YouTube now. We're looking at Facebook moments ago. We're looking at YouTube now. And it says here, okay, it says you can you can navigate you can navigate YouTube in a total of 76 different languages covering 90% of internet population. How big is that? That is absolutely huge. The other fact is 9% of U.S. small businesses use YouTube. Only 9%, guys. That's on YouTube. Approximately 20% of the people who start YouTube video will leave after 10 seconds. Guess what I said here? Approximately, I, I didn't finish reading that. Approximately 20% of the people who start your video will leave after the first 10 seconds. So that means that you are to create a damn good intro. Is your business a purple cow? What are you and I doing to stand out? Good question, guys. These questions have to be answered. You know, it's uh, Periscope. I got information about Periscope here. Periscope says here, and website here is omnicoreagency.com. You can check them out there. The website there, or the link to the website there is in the, uh, in the window there. You should be able to see it there. And it says uh, total number of Periscope users, uh, and this was last updated uh, 2015, was 10 million users for Periscope. And I'm reading these numbers, guys, because these numbers represent opportunity for you to get your product, your service in front of these people. These people aren't just looking. Eventually these people will buy. Eventually these people will begin to ask questions. It's about the engagement. It's about first getting in front of your customer or your client, your potential client. Again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The most asked question that I am receiving as a digital marketer is what is my ROI? And too often we're trying to compare ourselves or our ROI with another's ad campaign and, and oh, they've got 20% of return and, and things of that nature too often. You're not them and they're not you. So your return or your, your ROI is definitely going to be different. But if you get started, 
you can, again, be able to build a bridge to what you're looking for. So you can see that return. But if you don't get started, you can never build that bridge by creating that live stream. As I mentioned earlier, I read to you moments ago, uh, here, and I was believe it, the, the, uh, the last remark here on uh, this uh, YouTube uh, information or uh, uh, stats or about YouTube here. It says, that being said, you and I, we should be creating a damn good intro. It says, your video, approximately 20% of the people who start your video will leave after the first 10 seconds. That means that your video needs to stand out. That means, means that your video, your research, as you've gathered your research and you've created that video, it needs to be absolutely remarkable. You need to leave a message or deliver a message that's powerful, that's gonna knock, up, knock your socks off, if you will. You know, an engaging intro, if you will. It has to be a combination of uh, visual, obviously. It has to be a combination of on-screen content. And that's what I do. You know, typically if you're doing a live stream video, be it Periscope or Facebook, uh, you don't have an option to bring the lower thirds in. And there are different programs out there that can do that. But as a digital marketer, I can bring those items in remotely from my home to wherever you may be at in this country. Bring those lower thirds, those titles on screen so that your customer, your potential client is able to see your information on screen where they don't have to go digging through your video, trying to find out who you are and uh, how do I get in contact with uh, Mr. Business Owner or that information that typically a consumer is looking for if you're trying to sell a product. But again, let's getting back to our information here. Again, 10 million users to date, or not to date, but uh, last updated to 2015. That's 10 million users, all right? Total number of daily active users, and this is much, much more current right now. We got 1.9 million active users uh, updated uh, as of January 22nd, 2017. Again, guys, the reason why I'm reading these numbers is because the numbers represent opportunity. So if you're asking yourself the question, does live stream or can live stream work for my business? The numbers don't lie. I didn't just wake up this morning and decide I wanted to do, put this stuff together really quick. I don't own this information, but the research is already done for you and I. So it makes no sense to reinvent the wheel. The research has already been done guys. All right. Total number of broadcasts to date is 200 million broadcasts have been uh, been delivered on Periscope. And that's uh, as recent as of uh, January 22nd, 2017. The demographics for Periscope, 1% internet users between the ages of 16 and 64 who have surveyed, use, who have surveyed and used Periscope. Periscope uh, has a much bigger share in the uh, in the all important 16 through 24 age group as compared to Meerkat. Meerkat is a now a defunct um, 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 social media or a live streaming platform. It was actually pretty cool. I came actually at the end of it, and uh, uh, and shortly after I um, signed up with uh, Meerkat, uh, they um, went uh, offline. And uh, but it it really looked like a really neat platform but uh, again I came at the very end of it so uh, again it says 29% uh, of Periscope URLs are posted by women so if your market is the uh, category or uh, group trying to reach women or you got products that you're selling exclusively to women or coaching services 
whatever the case may be, the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. And it was something similar to that, uh, even on Facebook, or I believe it was at Facebook on uh, YouTube, one of the stats as well. And let's see here. And that's, and this is Instagram. And I believe Instagram is owned by Facebook here. We're going to be wrapping it up here real, real soon here. And I'm going to cut, to, let's see here. We're going to go here and face this Instagram posting here. All right. A long list of Instagram stats that marketers need to know. All right. Instagram has over 500 million active monthly users. Guys, if this is not getting your attention, I don't know what is. That's really, again, the purpose of reading these numbers is not to uh, brag and uh, show you how much research I can do or uh, that, you know, it, it, it is really clearly to show you that, again, the numbers don't lie. And this is where you and I need to be at as business owners, as uh, organizations, churches. You know, we need to get in front of the potential consumers. And this is how, this is what it is. Instagram users have shared over 40 billion photos to date and share an average of 95 million photos and videos per day. All right. Instagram is used by 31% of American women and 24% of men. Again, there are those numbers. So if you are selling a product or uh, coaching services or, uh, you know, whatever the case might be, and it's exclusively to women, there is a huge opportunity for you and I to get our product out there. And and truly women are, I mean, they are on the rise. They are, I mean, truly in starting and opening up businesses. Guys, if you're trying to, again, connect with women or you are a woman who, who is, who wants to start their business, I mean, look no further, look no further. The numbers don't lie. Uh, Instagram users like 4.2 billion posts per day. Question I asked earlier, where are you and I in these likes here? Where are we posting our video where those 4.2 billion likes are shared amongst our postings, our infographics, our videos? Have we started? Do we, does our business even have a social media budget? Again, if you are still sending out flyers and brochures, mailers, stop. <laughs> Just stop because you're, you're really throwing your money away. And that's the truth. You know, you are just really throwing your money away because if you're just, if you just want to just, uh, you know, if you got thousands upon thousands of dollars to create mailers from a, uh, a, uh, a mailing house, if you will, uh, literally, you might as well take your money and throw it in the air because uh, if, you know, other than those specific people that you are mailing to, you know, are they even reading the information? Most of us are going online to get the information. So 60% of top brands on Instagram use consistent filter. Okay. B2C, that is business to consumer marketers significantly, uh, more likely 6% to increase Instagram act, uh, activities than business to business marketers. So for those businesses who are trying to uh, get into contact with your consumer, the uh, end consumer, the people who will use your product, purchase your service or your product, Instagram is where it's at. And it's not just Instagram, guys. Instagram is owned by Facebook, but its overall message that I'm trying to convey here is that this is where we need to be at, guys. This is where we need to be at. So if you're a business, if you are a church, we need to get our video. We need to get our message. Is your business a purple cow? What are you doing to stand out? 
and I read a, read a stat from you moments ago that 20% of the people who are watching videos will watch that video for the first 10 seconds, only for the first 10 seconds. So that means that you need to have a damn good intro. Question I've asked or mentioned before, the most popular question that's asked is, Curtis, what's my ROI? If you don't get started, you'll never know what your ROI is. I can't give you that information if you haven't started, if you have nothing to compare it with. You can't compare your ROI with another organization's ROI. All right. So that's, you know, something to factor in, guys. You know, we, we can't compare something. You can't compare apples to apples. I mean, you can, but my point is, is that if you haven't started and you're looking at the stats or the numbers from another organization who has started, they're six months into their their social media campaign. How do you compare that? You know, so it's, it's you know, let's guys, let's you know, consider that, consider consider that information that uh, we'll you know can think wisely about. Uh, you know, again, if you're asking where is your ROI, yes, absolutely, those things are important. But if you haven't gotten started, it's hard to consider or even guesstimate what your ROI is going to be. I could say 1%. 1% doesn't look very good on, on, on an ad campaign that's thousands of dollars. That's peanuts. It really is. That's, that's very little, and I, and I get that. But your return could be absolutely a lot more than that as well. But you have to get started. So guys, we've been talking about standing out with live streaming, Staying out your business, staying out with live video or whether you prepared or a, uh, a video and post production. You shot the video or uh, pre-recorded. That's what I was looking to say. But whether you shot a video or pre-recorded a video, whether your video is live streamed, it first starts with engagement. You have to engage before you get to a place where there's ROI. We can't factor in something that we aren't doing yet. That's like counting money in the bank, you know, assuming that it's there and, and for me to give you and to follow along with you and say, oh, I can, yeah, you can make about $10,000 and it wouldn't be fair because I can't guarantee you that. But if we get started, if your business or organization gets started with your social media campaign, if you make a conscious effort to say, I want to be a part of this here. Again, it's not so much just about me as a digital marketer pining for your business as it is me presenting the information to you and showing you the numbers. The numbers don't lie. I, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I don't know the individuals who have wrote these articles, but I guarantee you that this information out here is a huge resource, resource for all of us who are asking the most important question should I, as a business owner or organization, do live streaming? Should I use video for my business? Should I make it part of my social media campaign? Does your organization or business even have a social media campaign? These are all plausible questions that we need to answer. And we need to be prepared to go, or at least prepared to answer these questions in a way where it's presented to us. And that's been my job for the last nearly 40 minutes here is trying to present this information to you, not just an individual coming on screen to try to sell you something. Oh, I do this, I do this, but to give you social proof 
that the numbers are out here. And if you ask the question, you have to go be prepared to search for the answer. And it's my job, though I'm presenting the information to you, it's my job to help you answer that question. And that's what I hope that I've been able to do is to answer that question. And uh, again, that is my responsibility because ultimately, yes, I am I am a service. I offer a service to uh, professionals and organizations, but I want to help you as a digital marketer, as a business owner myself, help you make a informed decision, a informed decision about why you should use video or live streaming. And I hope I've done just that. Again, guys, my name is Curtis Brooks and I want to thank you hugely for tuning into our broadcast here. We've been talking about, is your business a purple cow? Brands stand out with live video. And what I've done for the, again, nearly 40 minutes is hopefully giving you social proof through the several websites that we've uh, discussed here. Social proof in regards to the numbers are out there. And the engagement is proof that we need to be in front of those people who are watching these videos. We need, as business owners, we need to get our services and our product out in front of the consumer, in front of the millions and millions of people who are watching video. We need to make sure that our business, our organization is remarkable. We need to make sure that our business, our organization is the purple cow among so many ordinary looking cows. And I believe if we make it our point to ensure that our business is the purple cow of businesses, if we do these things as far as a live stream and the video, making sure we're using those keywords, pay attention to the analytics uh, from the videos that we're posting or the live streams, consider the information and use it wisely. I believe if we do these things, our business will be, or our brand will be not only remarkable, but it will be the purple cow, the brand, the business that stands out above so many other businesses that are doing the same thing. So it's time for us to get started. Again, guys, my name is Curtis Brooks and I am with Curtis Brooks Media Productions. Thank you for tuning in to this broadcast. We've been talking about, is your business a purple cow? Brands stand out with video. Thanks guys for tuning in again. My name is Curtis Brooks with Curtis Brooks Media Productions. Have a great day.